Today we're going to show you how easy it is to perform a jitter generation test using the Paragon 100 gigs. In case folks haven't seen the Paragon 100 gigs, this is what it looks like. It supports jitter, Synky jitter generation and Synky jitter tolerance, plus PTP and Synky wonder measurements to 100 gig of Ethernet and beyond. Now jitter is all about standards, and the ITT standard is G8262 for Synky network equipment and today's video we're focusing on jitter generation. This is a test setup for a jitter generation measurement. You need to apply a jitter free stimulus. This could be Paragon 100 gigs with the jitter switched off. And jitter measurement is performed on port 2 of the Paragon 100 gigs. The spec that we're measuring to is G8262 20 kilohertz to 200 megs and the limit is 1.2 UI peak to peak. So first of all open the user interface on your browser and select Synkey Jitter. Next under port setup select 100 gigabit ethernet LR4 interface. Then you'll see the full Jitter measurement page shown here. The Jitter measurement LEDs are shown on the right hand side. Jitter measurement is performed in port 1. The status lights on the right hand side indicate uh, that the port 1 and port 2 links are up and it's receiving packets and everything's locked. Now G8262 requires jitter to be measured over a full 60 second period. So choose a timing period of 60 seconds as shown here. Now on an LR4 signal there are four 25 gig lanes. It makes sense to measure jitter on all four lanes as they may not all be the same. And note in an SR10 signal there are 10 lanes to measure. Select measure to start the measurement. This shows the jitter measurement in progress. It's six seconds through the measurement as shown by elapsed time indication here. Now a reminder that we are uh, measuring to G8262 network equipment limit. That's the 1.2 UI peak to peak measurement here, shown here. There is also another limit which is the G8261 which is the network limit and that's 3.6 UI peak to peak in the same measurement bandwidth. The measurement bandwidth of 20k to 200 megs is fixed within the Paragon 100 gigs. So finally this shows the result now that the jitter measurement is complete. Is complete. The peak to peak jitter result is 0.32 UI peak to peak as shown here and the RMS jitter result is 0.02 UI RMS and of course it's the peak to peak measurement that we're interested in here. So that's all folks, that shows you how easy it is to make a jitter generation measurement on the Paragon 100 gig. Thank you.